Hi, today I am going to tell in the about full ladder. Previous tutorials I have told the full ladder by using the structural modeling. Now we will be seeing in data flow modeling. So nothing much in data flow modeling. Just we will be writing here assign assign and then we'll be taking as w1 as output so output comma xor the pass so it is xor gate that's it so similar i have written cv this way because to know how it varies how the how we can vary the code and we can write it as fast as we can so now it is also assign and it is and get so just just with small modifications we can convert the structural model to data flow model so data flow model is somewhat easy if we know the symbols if we know the symbols perfectly then the data flow modeling will be very simple for us so i have forgot this now it is or get so this is the symbol for or get so what i was telling was if we know the symbol perfectly then we can do it Let's save it and check it the behavioral syntax. Hope we have already seen that W1, W2 and W3 are what are there this W1 and W2 and W3 by this full ladder. Once again I recall that W1 and W2 and W3. Those are the intermediate wires or intermediate signals which we will be getting from this XOR gate. We will be getting a W1 wire and for this we will be getting a sum as output for w1 wire and c1 and for this we will be getting w2 as wire as intermediate signal and for this we will be getting as w3 as an intermediate signal these two and gates so this and gate and these two and gates so we will be getting this intermediate signal and next we have done the or operations so next uh, we have done that now we will be simulating it so in the in the last video i will be telling how to write the test bench for the full ladder so just after doing the behavioral model next in my next video you can see the behavioral model mm, we will be doing the next in my previous video i have shown you about 100 next i am taking 110 in this video just if we take 110 and just see, just apply these values 1, 1, 0, just apply these values. So I got sum as 0 and carry as 1. Let us see why it is correct or not. So 110, it is 110, sum as 0 and carry as 1. So it is absolutely correct. Now, this is how we will be making the full ladder in behavior in data flow modeling style. Thanks for watching.